hello, Nettie Owens here with Safari Solutions Professional Organizing, creator of the Take Control System. And I'm coming to you today to continue on our journey of a daily tip in organization, productivity, time management, and systems. If you have been following along, or even if you haven't, you can catch all of the tips on YouTube. There's a whole stream of them, or you can follow them here at Safari Solutions on Facebook and see everything that we've done, um, all the other tips that have been uh, presented in the past. And I look forward to sharing with you today. So I'm going to pick one from this stack. We'll mix it up a little bit and see what we come up with, what kind of tips we're going to come up with today. Okay. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? So many good options. All right. Oops. We want to get something. Ooh, here's a good one. Something that we haven't covered before. So today's tip is finding time to follow up on everything. Boy, that puts a limit on it, doesn't it? Finding time to follow up on everything. Um, following up on everything would probably take a very, 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 very long time since... There's an infinite amount of stuff that we can choose from. And that's probably the point here. Since there is an infinite amount of choices, of things that we could be doing, of tasks that we could perform, of people we could be in touch with, of ideas and inspiration and actions and organization and systems, all of that, there's just an infinite amount that we could be working from. So before you can figure out what you should be following up on, you need to think about what your priority is. What's the most important thing going on for you? What's going to move you forward? Um, and getting really clear on that direction that you have. That is why um, when I'm working with folks on this particular topic, we, we don't really look at your task list um, at all until we've determined what it is, what direction that you're going towards, what it is you're working towards. So the most important thing that you can do is to figure out for yourself what your priority is, what direction you're moving in. From that point, you should be spending time then only on activities that get you towards that end point that you have in mind. If you find that you're spending time on other activities, then you have the choice, hi Jen, you have the choice then to either um, decide to refocus and add that priority for yourself or you can delegate the task or you can decide not to do the task. Um, if you're having a hard time finding time to put towards a particular activity, yes, you have to put blinders on. You have to put blinders on to everything else. Everything else is going to be kind of nipping at your heels saying, oh, focus on me over here. Oh, this would be great. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you started up this new line of the business. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you read this book, did this activity, tried this new hobby, hired this person even, whatever it is, you could definitely focus your energy on those particular things. But if they are not going to get you towards that bigger goal, then you need to say, not right now. Maybe I'll take that up, but not right now. And the way that you do this is to use your time in in focused chunks so you definitely set aside and say for this amount of time I'm working only on this activity we do not multitask our brains don't multitask when we're trying to do that we're actually switching between um, thoughts very rapidly and what happens is that it becomes harder and harder to refocus into the into the task that you've got in your mind that you want to complete so the more you switch gears, it doesn't chain, train your brain to switch gears more quickly. It actually trains your brain to be distracted. So you really want to make sure that you're finding time where you can be focused on one particular thing that you're working on at that point. And that may mean turning off your phone, turning off notifications, closing the computer and doing it in writing. If that means that you don't get an, any notifications or announcements, shutting your door, focus. Picking the time of day where you have the most energy and attention to focus on the big stuff. So if you need to follow up, and that's very important and it's going to work towards your goals, then what time of day are you going to have the most energy to do that? 
Um, and when can you really put blinders on to the other things? It's not that you follow up and answer email and pay bills and work on writing a particular part of your manual, whatever you've got going on, you do one thing, you follow up. And that's all you're doing for that particular time. Yes, Jen, there are just so many distractions that really want our attention. And the only way that we can get things done, that we can move forward and accomplish what we're trying to accomplish is to put those blinders on to anything that's not moving us in that direction. And this isn't that we say no forever. It's just that we say no, right, not right now, or that we delegate it to somebody else who could accomplish that task instead of us. Um, so our, our question today was finding time to follow up. And I will be back on here tomorrow to give you another tip of the day. If you would like to check me out on saparisolutions.com, you can see all sorts of great information um, about these tips and other organizing tips and information. You can check me out at takecontrolsystem.com. You can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube, but I hope you will connect. I'm looking forward to talking to you. Bye-bye.